In this video, we're going to be comparing Photoshop to Paint.net. We're finally going to answer which of the two most common design softwares on Roblox is the best for Roblox designing. So if you're new to Roblox clothing design and you want to know which of these softwares is the best for you, then you should watch until the end of this video. We're going to be going through both the pros and cons of each of these softwares. Now, this video will be based on my personal experience with both of these softwares. I'm going to try my best to compare these softwares as fair as possible. But before we go through the pros and cons, let's first learn more about each softwares to get a better understanding. Let's start with paint.net. But before we continue with the video, I want to challenge you in guessing which of these outfits I made using Photoshop and using paint.net. So make sure you leave your answers in the comments section. I'm going to reveal the answers later in this video. Paint.net, as you may know, is a free-to-use photo editing software. It has become a standard for beginners and expert Roblox clothing designers on the platform. Even Roblox themselves recommend this software on their developer's blog along with some other alternatives. You can also find old Roblox clothing tutorials on YouTube dating back from almost a decade ago. They even argue that ever since Roblox let their users upload their own clothing back when Roblox was just starting out, one of the first clothing designs uploaded on the platform was potentially created using paint.net. Considering around the time Roblox announced this update, it was also around the time where paint.net was gaining its popularity, roughly late 2010s. Now clearly, Roblox designers have been using this software for a very long time. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you the disadvantages of using paint.net. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Contrast, and in this channel, I make videos that are anything related to Roblox designing. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this. Now, what is Photoshop? If you watch any of the videos I made on this channel, you're probably already using Photoshop. But for those who don't know, Photoshop is an industry standard photo editing software. This is the most common tool used by amateurs and experts outside of the Roblox platform. Now, Photoshop isn't as popular as Paint.net within the Roblox clothing community, in my opinion, because it's paid, but it's still frequently used by Roblox GFX designers. Now, later in this video, we're going to be going through the cons of using Photoshop. But before that, let's go through the pros of paint.net. Now let's go through the pros of using paint.net. The first one being it's free and it's light. The biggest reason why it's, it's the most used software on the Roblox platform is that it's the most accessible software. It takes less than a few clicks to install and you can run it on almost any computer without any problems as long as you're running windows now compare that to photoshop where you not only have to pay an adobe subscription but you, you also need to have a decent enough computer in order for you to run photoshop smoothly when i started out using photoshop i didn't have a very good computer it was an 11 year old hand-me-down computer and every time I would open a large Photoshop project file, it would crash along with my computer. But around this time, I also tried using paint.net and it was the exact opposite. Paint.net is extremely fast, even with a potato computer. You can easily work on large project files without any issues, unlike Photoshop. Now you can use free Photoshop alternatives like Photopea. It's accessible and it's fast, but we're not going to be talking about Photopy in this video. But if you're interested in learning more about Photopy, then you should watch this recent in-depth shirt tutorial I made using Photopy. Now, the second reason why you should use paint.net is that it's really easy to pick up and learn by yourself. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Roblox designers have been using paint.net for more than a decade, so you can easily find tons of resources and tutorials specifically paint.net clothing tutorials on YouTube. It's easily the software with the most Roblox clothing tutorials. In Photoshop, there are a lot of general tutorials, but not a whole lot of tutorials specifically for Roblox clothing. Other than this channel, there's not a lot of tutorial for Roblox clothing design. 
This is part of the reason why I started this channel in the first place. When I was starting out as a Roblox designer, I really struggled to find the right tutorials that would make me a better clothing designer. There was tons of tutorials, but not a whole lot I could apply on Roblox clothing design. With that being said, let's go through the pros of using Photoshop. Now let's go through the pros of using Photoshop. The first one is that it's a very robust software. It's one of the softwares that could do a lot of things in one place, like painting, photo manipulation, and even making simple graphic designs, and so much more. It has the most features out of any editing softwares I've used. I've mentioned this in a previous video before, but having the necessary tools and features can really help you design faster. If you compare that to paint.net, there's really not much to compare to. Other than just having the few basic tools, it lacks a lot of capabilities. Imagine Paint.net as the bare bones version of Photoshop, where you get less tools, less features, and overall just less support. Now there are more limitations with Paint.net, but we're not going to be going through all of them in this video. Now going back, having the more necessary features can really help speed up your design process. Now you can use Paint.net plugins, but in my opinion, it's still a very big limitation. Imagine spending hours going in forums, finding a simple feature that can help you speed up a certain part of your design process. Unlike Photoshop, where you could just simply go to YouTube, search for the problem and have a solution instantly. Now going through the second pros of using Photoshop, and that is Photoshop is an industry standard software. As I said earlier, if you plan on taking designing as an actual career path later on, having a strong background in Photoshop is almost always required. Most employers would require you to use Photoshop. Photoshop is a foundational software. I think anyone who wants to get serious in designing needs to have some sort of a, a background on Photoshop because it would be helpful for you in the long run. Now that we know the, both the pros and cons of each software, which is actually the best for Roblox clothing design? Well, the answer for that isn't clear. If you want to get into clothing design to just customize your own avatar, I think the best software for you to use is Paint.net. Now, if you want to get serious in designing and potentially make it your career path later on, I think Photoshop will be the best choice for you. To put it in other words, the best software really depends on the specific situation and your preference. I don't think that using Photoshop necessarily makes you better or using paint.net makes you better. In the end of the day, they're just tools and tools don't necessarily make you a better designer. What makes you a better designer is the actual skill you develop along the way. Learning and practicing your design skills is still the biggest part. Having the right tools just complements that. Now, if you want to learn the right skills to make you a better Roblox designer, then you should watch this video where I show you how you can make this simple outfit if you're just new to roblox clothing design but before we end the video remember that i asked earlier in the beginning of this video if you can guess which of these outfits was made using photoshop and paint.net now to tell you the answer i made both of these identical outfits using paint.net and photoshop this is to demonstrate that you can create amazing outfits with virtually any software you just have to learn